we can use the keywords async and await to write a synchronous code like synchronous code. In other words, execute a task only after the previous one has completed. For example, in the code here, we have an asynchronous function called wait five seconds that will wait five seconds before completing. And we call it with a wait down here. And the reason this looks like synchronous code is because it is executed one line at a time. So we would have to wait five seconds here before we can execute the line after it. To demonstrate, let me refresh this page and we can see the console log appearing here. This is created from my Chrome extension called console log. Check it out in the description if you're interested. Then we have another one saying five seconds have passed, which comes here, and then the next one that five seconds have passed. So we have to wait for this asynchronous task to complete before this one, which is just like synchronous code. And now there isn't anything wrong with the code here, but it can easily be sped up using promise.all. So if I change this now to be a promise.all function, and I save the page, and then let's refresh this page, we get starting asynchronous tasks, and then this time we get five seconds have passed at the same time. So now we don't have to wait for this asynchronous task before starting this one, because we're using promise.all. So this promise.all method here takes an iterable of promises as input, such as an array of promises, and returns a single promise when all of the promises in the iterable are, are fulfilled. So promise.all executes multiple asynchronous tasks concurrently. However, as JavaScript is single-threaded, only one task will be executing at a time. Nevertheless, control can shift between different asynchronous tasks, which makes the execution of the tasks provided to promise.all seem concurrent. So once again, let me just demonstrate again. So if I refresh this page, we're starting the asynchronous tasks, and it kicks off both of these concurrently. So then they finish at the exact same time. Whereas previously, when we had it like this, we would start the asynchronous tasks. We would have to wait on the first one right here, and that one is finished, so five seconds have passed. And now we can start this one, and then five seconds have passed appears for the next one. So we can see here that promise.all can speed up your applications drastically. What promise.all is typically used for is working with multiple related asynchronous tasks that all need to be fulfilled before continuing code execution. So for example, say we need to get data from multiple APIs and then combine them, promise.all would be a great solution. We wouldn't be able to use promise.all though, for example, if this second asynchronous call res relied on the response from the first one. So say this gave back an answer or like response, and then this took it as an argument. We would not be able to use promise.all in, in that scenario, but if both of these are independent, then we can use promise.all. That's all I wanna show you. If you like content like this, check out my courses and also my software linked in the description. You can also try out this extension console log that I was displaying, that I was showing you here. Besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.